Detonation in three, two, one. Gosh, my PC is so frozen right now. Oh god, Minecraft not resp- <gasps> Did I just crash the game? Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. This is Liam here from Boss Waffle, and today we are inside of Minecraft, um, and Minecraft PC version, to be, uh, specific with you. I have built this nice, uh, little structure over here, which you're gonna find out very soon what it is for, and I am very excited to show you guys what it is for. Um, but inside we just got a bunch of bookcases, uh, lights, that sort of stuff, um, and a singular chest with tons of TNT in it. And, um, that's because today I'm going to be, um, talking about a mod for Minecraft. Um, the link will be in the description. This mod is, th this mod is called Too Much TNT. So, um, the mod link will be in the description, like I just said, uh, if you guys would like to download this mod for yourself, um, as well um, the mod page in the description has the crafting recipes for all the items that can be crafted. There are some items in this mod that can't be crafted, but for the ones that are able to be crafted, the crafting recipes are all on the website. So, without further ado, let's get right into this. So, the first thing you're going to need is a detonator. And, of course, with that, you're going to need a detonator remote. So, the way that the detonator and the detonator remote is works is if I grab some TNT and I place it down, preferably not right next to all of my stuff. If I place it down over here, I can attach a detonator to it. And when I back up um, to a safe area, I can click this and it blows up. And as you can see in the bottom left corner, it gives you a test text notification. So if you were to, for example, for some reason, if you really wanted to blow up this tree over here, but you wanted to do it from remotely, um, a better example would be if you wanted to blow up, uh, if you wanted to like prank a friend by blowing up their house or whatever, and you wanted to get away from it um, before it happened, because of course it's your friend and you packed their house full of TNT, what you could do is just get very far away so that they don't know where you are so they can't like you know come after you and boom it's gone just like that um so it is very very helpful and i am not gonna need this tnt again so it can go away so the next item is dynamite which is a very interesting item to say the least um this has a very similar explosion to tnt but the way it works is you just hold it in your hand and you right click and it throws a piece of dynamite um very simple actually it's a lot more powerful than uh tnt um much more powerful uh but you just throw it and the way it works is it as soon as it comes in contact with another block it blows up so uh, if i throw it pretty much straight at the ground it blows up pretty much immediately but if i was to throw it in a big old arc it's gonna take it a second and boom there it goes so that is a fairly interesting block and if i am correct i believe that that one cannot be crafted you can only grab it in creative mode so we are now going to move on to the next set of blocks and these blocks are ones that can actually be crafted in survival mode the first one is called packed tnt and i believe that you make this one with um a bunch of TNT. It's pretty much your standard TNT, but when you blow it up, which we're going to do from a distance because I love these things, and so they do have a texture, and you can place them on any block. Oh, that was weird. They do have a texture, and you can place them anywhere, um, but for some reason, sometimes they're invisible. It's dumb, I know, but yeah, most of the time you can see them. Anyways, though, so we are going to stand back a decent amount, and I'm going to, once we get to some of the bigger bombs, I'm going to stop placing them by my um, little house over here, as, as you can see it in the distance, and three, two, one. So, yeah, that one is your standard 
TNT um, mod block. It's just a much, much more massive explosion, which you can't really see because I placed it right next to water like an idiot. Um, but it's about the same amount of power as the um, the uh, d the dynamite. Um, and the dynamite looks uh, extra powerful here because it blew up right in front of a cave. Um, but it is actually really big. Um, so yeah, that is the packed TNT. And the next type of TNT that we are going to look at is called Fire Blast TNT. So I'm going to place this uh, not by water. Actually, good idea. I'm going to place it in the forest right here. Uh, we're going to put a detonator on top of that as well. Um, and we're going to back up. Actually, we're going to back up to our little house over here because we can uh, see it from over here. So if we blow it up, boom, it creates a massive explosion and then a forest fire. And that was a bad idea because now my game is ping 9000. Um, so the next explosive is called the cluster bomb. And this is the reason why I'm not going to detonate it right near my building. Um, the name is Fairly self-explanatory. I'm pretty sure you guys can all guess uh, exactly what this is going to do. But, um, for a say, for all of our sakes, I'm going to do it from a distance. Um, and I may as well show it off to you guys. So, we're going to get inside of our building again. Um, and we can actually see it here. If I do slash time set day, uh, you guys can actually see it now. So, on the count of... Five, I am going to blow it up, and you can see it in the distance there. Actually, I can bust that open so you guys can see it better. Um, but you can see it off in the distance there. So five, four, three, two, one, boom. Oh god, we it was too close. That's why we don't do things right next to our building. How's our build our building survived? It, it took a bit of a beating. The path took a bit of a beating. Um, but the building is fine. Alright, that's nice. Uh, I saw one land right in the ocean, and that would have been catastrophic if I built this uh, along anything but the ocean. <laughs> one landed right next to our building. And you guys saw how far away I placed that. Um, so, it appears one landed, like, about there. One landed over there. Or a few landed over there, actually. Um, some exposed a cave over here. Uh... One of them landed over there, one's there, there's a big ol' explosion there, um, there's a big ol' structure over there. Uh, I think I built that before, uh, this video. And expecting to use that, um, oh yeah, I did build that, uh, but it started taking forever to build that. So I'm not gonna use that for a while, or at all, actually. So, that was the cluster bomb, you can see there's a massive explosion here, and I'm not gonna detonate, um... I'm going to have to place the bombs further away from my uh, shelter if I'm going to blow them up again. So, the next bomb on our list is called the Physics Bomb. And actually, we've got two um, bombs that are very similar to each other here. So, we're going to blow them up uh, at, uh, at about the same time. And I'm going to get some... Uh, I'm going to get the sheep with this one. So, we're going to place the Physics Bomb right... Get... He's running away. He knows, he knows what's coming. All right. You're just gonna, yeah, it does actually have a texture, but for some reason it doesn't work sometimes. So, three, two, one, boom. And it lags your PC uh, to crap, but what it does is it picks up a bunch of stuff, and I wanted to see if it would do it to a sheep, but it didn't. But it picks up a bunch of blocks, and it throws them all over the place. So, I think it's gonna like my uh, PC a bit more again, um, but I'm gonna place it again, and we're gonna back up, back into our shelter. Um, so we can see the whole, whole thing, uh, happen in three, two, one. Oh, dude, that looked cool. That looked cool, I'm not gonna lie. Um, maybe that's how we can fill that gap in over there. Um, but what it does is it picks up a bunch of blo it explodes, picks up all the blocks that it would have normally destroyed, and it spreads them across, uh, the landscape, and there's even some of the trees over here. Um, that's gonna be hard to explain in, uh, future videos. Alright, the next one is called the Bone Meal Bomb, and I think that this one is also pretty self-explanatory, uh, but I'm going to place it down, and three, two, one, boom. It's very self-explanatory, just bone meals everything. Um, yeah, I don't really feel like I need to explain that any further than I just did. You guys saw it happen. It's bone meal, but in a bomb form, which is actually kind of cool, and I like that. This is... This is the, um, arrow bomb, so if I place this on top, 
Hello? Oh, I was placing the wrong thing. Oh, yeah, there's the texture. It looks really cool on the side of it, uh, right there. But, um, so we're going to use the detonator remote, uh, and it's raining slash weather clear. There we go. Uh, it should be clearing. It says it's changing it to clear weather. Okay. And three, two, one. Boom. And it's just, um, a rain of arrows that you can't pick up. Um. Uh, Obviously, you can't pick them up. Uh, it just kind of makes sense that you can't. Because there'll be a ton of free arrows. Uh, and they they go very far. Um, this is obviously the center of the bomb. Um, but I can see some... Uh, it's kind of hard to tell between the, the uh, arrows and the flowers over there. But I can see them. They went that far. They, they went pretty darn far. Um, and the second one is the tipped arrow bomb. So if we place... This guy down, and um, we back up quite a bit more. Three, two, one, boom! It sends out more arrows, but these ones are tipped. Woo! It's uh, pretty self explanatory. And then this one's my favorite one just because of how silly it is. Uh, this one is the snowball bomb. Uh, it doesn't actually hurt you at all, so I'm going to back up into the um, well, the explosion does, but the snowballs don't. So I'm gonna back up, uh, into here just to see, uh, the massive ball of snowballs. In three, two, one. Boom. Isn't that just beautiful? I love that. And actually, what it does is it covers the ground in snow as well. When the snowballs hit, uh, wherever they hit is covered in snow. Uh, and it's kind of funny. Um... Because a lot of the place where the snow is, is on top of these blocks, which is, I don't know, that that, that just gets me. Um, but yeah, that's um, that's a pretty interesting, uh, those are three of my probably favorite uh, explosives from the mod. Because everybody has the uh, classic, like, uh, bigger explosions or fire explosions. But those are just kind of uh, neat, original things that you don't you don't often see. So this one is the lightning conductor, and I believe that it is fairly obvious what this one does. We're going to place it down. Boom. Very obvious. One of these is called the hand cannon. It places uh, explosives. And um, we've got the... In <sighs> Great, I'm going to have to pronounce this. In... Incidiary bomb, incendiary bomb. We have the incendiary bomb and the hydrogen bomb, as well as the hand cannon. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a few of my uh, favorite bombs. Uh, we'll do the, we'll do the snowball bomb. Uh, we'll do packed TNT, uh, fireball. I'm not doing cluster because that's going to absolutely blow up my place. And of course we're going to get some, uh, we're going to get stacks of classic TNT. All right, so. First up is the actual bombs themselves, and I'm going to get far away from that because these, uh, these are very, very powerful bombs. So the first one we're going to place is called the Incendiary Bomb. We're going to put the, um, put the little um, detonator on top of it, and we're going to back way up for an explosion in 3, 2, 1... And it didn't look very impressive, but that's because I'm very far away, and it wasn't, um, very massive, because I put it right by water again like an idiot. Um, we're gonna come over to here, to a pretty much unexploded area. I'm gonna place that down, put the detonator on top of it, and probably ruin my whole building over here, which is going to suck. Alright, three, two, one... Boom. Um, and it's just normal TNT, pretty much. I'm not gonna lie. I'm joking. This is, this is the actual big one that I'm debating whether or not I'm gonna put it right next to my I'm gonna put it right next to my house. Why do I care? I can just build a new one. That took me, like, honest, honestly five minutes. I was planning on just improving it, but building a new one would be okay, too. Alright, so this is the big, um, bomb in this mod uh we've seen some pretty insane uh bombs before but this is 
this is the mother of all bombs. And I'm going to set it to uh, day, just so you guys can see uh, everything that goes on much, much more clearly. And we're about to end our lives in the most entertaining way ever with this massive hydrogen bomb in three, two, one. Oh, there goes my PC. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. That was, uh, insane, to say the very, very least. My structure has suffered, but not a lot. Iron block. Block of iron. Yep. That's what I meant. Uh, my structure has definitely suffered quite a bit, but, uh, it's not actually, like, d dead. I can fix this. This is much better than I thought it would be, honestly. Um, slash set world spawn slash set world spawn Alright, so the new spawn point is inside of here, so I can come back and fix this uh, later. Um, but if I remember correctly, there should be a village nearby, and I wanted to see uh, just the massive amount of destruction that this bomb can truly cause. So we're going to place it kind of like... Uh, slash weather clear. And what we're going to do, actually, is we are going to place one hydrogen bomb and then we're going to we're gonna, we're gonna make a full-on nuke guys just the most massive nuke ever all right i gotta make sure that i put a detonator on every single one of these these villagers are not gonna know what hit them boom so we have a detonator on every single block now i believe yeah we have a detonator on every single block just gonna make sure. So, now that that's done, we're gonna sit back and watch the sheer amount of destruction that these bombs can cause. But first, I know, we're gonna have a cliffhanger for you guys. Uh, offhand. That's offhand, yes. Okay, but first, we've got the hand cannon, which is um, pretty self-explanatory. It's just... It's awesome, I'm not gonna lie. It's probably one of the coolest things I've ever seen ever. Um, but it just kind of... It just kind of shoots TNT out of it, which is... Honestly, what were you expecting from a weapon called the hand cannon? Um, but... That's what it does. It's pretty darn cool. Um, but... Yeah, that's what it does. So, um... Anyways, the moment you guys have actually all been waiting for... This massive hydrogen bomb exploding over this Minecraft village. So, detonation in three, two, one. Whoops, let's try that again. Detonation in three, two, one. Gosh, my PC is so frozen right now. Oh god, Minecraft not resp- <gasps> Did I just crash the game? I don't think my- Oh, it's- Oh my dear- God, okay, I felt that- Whoa! Okay, that just happened. Whoa, okay. Uh, my PC does not understand what I just put it through. Are these survivors? Hold up. Or, have it, or is it just not loaded yet? No, I think this is a surviving- uh, yeah, that's a surviving structure. There is collision. But yeah. Oh, and now there's a forest fire because uh, one of the other things this hydrogen bomb does is it flings fire. Uh, which is pretty darn cool. But that, my friends, that is a very, very interesting way to destroy a village. Everybody always does shove TNT into those things and start to destroy them in all sorts of fashions. But I think that was the best way to do it. One fell swoop and the entirety of the city, besides one sole surviving house, has felt destruction on levels that are only imaginable. 
without this mod. So that is amazing. Um, this whole village is just gone. Um, I don't feel any regret. That was, that was awesome. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like as it is very helpful. And I will see you guys all in the next episode. Goodbye.